Now, before we move ahead, we need to understand certain concepts which are related to the production. Now, what are those? See, the first concept is your total product. This is also known as total physical product. So, the short form here is TP or TPP. What is that? This is the sum total of output which is produced by all units of labor along with factors of production. Okay. So, the total quantity of goods and services which are produced by a firm in a given period of time is your total product or TPP. Okay. Now, when I have to graphically represent it, the shape here of TP would be steep from origin as you can see here then it would flatten and then eventually it would drop off so here you can see it is steep from origin then it gets flattened and then it starts dropping off this is how the total production curve looks like okay if i have to give you an equation of the total product it is nothing but tp1 plus tp2 plus tp3 till tpn okay where n would be the number of units which have been produced also this is the summation of mp okay that is marginal product now let's move to the next concept which is the average product or average physical product app what is that this is the per unit production of a variable factor so if I have to show you the graphical representation of AP curve, it would be a U-shaped curve. You can see there's a U getting formed out here. So what is happening here? The hump is getting formed here. Hence, it is known as inverted U or a hump-shaped curve. So if I have to give you an equation, AP would be equal to TP divided by L where L is the variable factor labor. Okay. Now, Let's quickly move further, then comes the marginal product. So, it is also known as marginal physical product that is MPP. What is that? This is the change in the total production because of a change in the unit in the input of variable factor. So, MP is addition that is being made to the total product by employing an additional unit of variable keeping other inputs change. So whenever you add one more variable unit, there would be a change in the total product and that is what MP is all about. Okay. Now, if I have to give you an equation for this, it would be MP is equal to delta TP that is change in TP divided by delta L which is change in labor or you can say TPN minus TPN minus 1. Now here, you can see how the graph is or uh, presented see it would be in a inverted u but then it would not form a proper u it would be more of a hum shape okay so this is how the marginal product curve will look like 